First of all, let me be the first to say that maybe you should not have done that, the milk boys. Like, maybe you should not do, do that. Like, I understand, but we are in a pandemic. You should remember that. On top of that, you sent out a tweet to the media saying that they are a fucking joke and not research at all, so lazy and completely incorrect facts. They are coming for the boys now that we are taking over. And you're laughing because you're you're in a pandemic. Are you really that stupid? And then you tr and then the account tweeted out this for the record to the line as we are trying to take down milk. We took all the precautions and paid off for off duty police outside the short house. They were not called on us. Stop fucking lying. Police themselves said t to us. That we did nothing wrong. Also, they were absolute beauties. Finish the can, bud. <laughs> well, still, you should not have thrown a party during the pandemic. video here to address all these fucking media stories and what's going on you guys are reading all the headlines and stuff first of all i want to say it's getting pretty fucking twisted um the headlines are saying nelk boys throws a party at the jersey shore house that is not what happened at all okay so we wanted to rent out the jersey shore house on the day of our merch talk to, to show up to film some content it's a legendary spot we all watched the show we thought it would be cool so in cooperation with danny the house owner we hired four off-duty police officers with two of our own security that were waiting at the house when we got there right away in the event that people showed up to disperse people, to get rid of the crowds, hand out tickets, whatever they had to do to because COVID's going on and stuff like that. We didn't want to get in trouble. Um, we got in shit for what happened at ISU, even though we didn't organize that at all. We just pulled up. We actually just messaged a few girls at ISU. Um, we didn't post one story, not one story at ISU while we were there. We posted them all the next day. Word just spreads like absolute wildfire, wild, ugh, wildfire, especially in these small-ass towns. If we're posting stories in L.A., it's not that big a deal. But when we show up to these small towns, now that we've learned, when COVID's going on, everyone's bored, people are going to fucking show up. And even people will, like, we'll just be somewhere, someone will take a Snapchat of us and 50 people will show up. And that's honestly something, guys, that we honestly, from the bottom of my heart, might sound stupid. Like, we, we don't know how big we are. Like, we really learned after this. Like, I guess we have to accept now that we're fucking, maybe we're famous. Like, it feels weird for us. Like, kids coming from fucking Canada. Like, we don't feel famous. We feel normal. We can't even post a story of where we're at anymore because people are just going to pull up. And then we're going to get in shit for starting a large gathering because of COVID, which we obviously don't want to get in shit. We don't. Um, so yeah, I saw that Philip DeFranco video where he said, um, like, oh, they don't know. I don't condone this party at all. And Team YouTube had the right to take away your monetization. If a career is off platform behavior harms our ecosystem, we take action to protect the community. We send them a channel from the partner program because they encourage large members of people disregarding social distancing guidance and green and large public health risk.